Hello all and welcome to Great Delton. Today I'm going to be showing you how I build my N-Gage signal gantry. In terms of the market there's not really a great deal out there in terms of uh, gantries for N-Gage so I'll be scratch building my own out of a variety of different kits and parts. For the signal heads I'll be using the Gage Master 2 aspect red and green signal heads. For the main gantry I'll be using the N Scenic 4 track gantry. I have some plastic card here just to make up some platforms. I have the scale model scenery graded walkways which I'll be putting on top of the platforms and then I also have some safety hoop ladders to go up the side of the gantry. Let's focus on those. These are from PD models and then just some ordinary ladders for access to the platforms where the heads will be mounted. So what I'm going to do first is just prepare all the parts individually, paint them the right colour, build the ladder kits up and I'll get back to you when I've done that. So all of the parts are just now drying. For the grated walkways I've just gone with an aluminium spray paint and I've also used that for the cat ladder which I have to say is one of the more fiddly things I've done in my life. And the brass ladders there, that's all aluminium. And then for the gantries I've just chosen a couple of greys. I always paint with uh, enamel when I can, I feel like it stays on a bit better. For that, for the lighter grey I used matte 64 and for the dark grey that's matte 67 and the reason I've done dark at the top and light at the bottom is because I'm half basing this gantry off a real life one which I'll insert a picture of in a sec so that's the reason for that so we'll wait for these to dry and then from there I'll get going with the uh, start making the cages so I took some pieces from another gantry and painted them up extra just to create the cages. That's what I'll be using these pieces for. So to start off with I'll try and get the correct height of how tall the cage should be by comparing it to the actual signal head. So by that I can tell it's probably going to be about sort of three sections of the gantry high. So I'll cut that piece out and I'll use two of them for the sides and then I will cut out a small piece of plastic card for the platform and then I'll probably cut out a small piece of this also to go next to the side to sort of make the sides slightly bigger and stand out a bit more So down here you can see this is how the sides will look, sort of like an L shape coming from the top of the gantry. And then the head will just be sitting between them on a platform. And then I'll have some of the grated walkway under the signal head for access by permanent way staff and engineers. And then one of these ladders will sit going up to the top of the, uh, top of the cage and all the way up to the top of the signal gantry. What I'll do now is I'll make up one cage, we'll see how it goes, and then I'll get on with the other two. Obviously I'm making a three head signal gantry, so if you want to try this you'll adapt it for a four, a two, or even a one. I'm going to be using rocket card glue to stick the card kits together, and then some poly cement for the brass ladders.
So that's the first cage completed. As you can see, we've got sides and then we have an aluminium walkway for engineer access. I may add something at the back before I put the ladder in just to protect the engineer from falling off the back of it. But I'll go ahead and make the other two and then we will progress on to putting them on the gantry. What I'm going to be doing next is sticking the cages to the back frame of the uh, gantry. What I've got here is a representation of my three tracks of which I'll be sticking the gantry over so I know exactly where to place them upon the gantry. This uh, signal gantry that I'm making will be situated over here and there's a bit more space on this side of the track than on the retaining wall so they won't be directly in the middle of the gantry. So what I'll be doing now is just sticking the cages on and then I'll stick some sides on as well on the inside and outside of the gantry to support that cage. So that is the three signal heads now mounted on the gantry. The next step will be to route all the cables in a manner which is disguised as well as possible. So I'll be running them within the gantry, down here, probably gluing them in place just to secure them, and then I'll paint them probably the same colours as the gantry to hide them best as possible. I'll separate them into each signal set of wires so I don't get confused once they're all out at the bottom there because they'll just be nine wires at once there. Now that all the wires for the heads are painted the same as the gantry they'll be disguised as best they can without being seen. So next it will be to stick the front frame on and the sides and the top and then what I'll be doing is sticking this grated walkway along the top for the engineers to walk to and then after that I'll be sticking another top piece on the uh, sort of on the side as a railing obviously to prevent them from walking off once that's done it will be sticking these ladders down from the walkway to the signal heads and then from there I'll meet you So that's pretty much finished and uh, there's a couple more things I need to do before it can go in but I've stuck all the sides on, I have added the ladders going down to the signal heads, I've added the walkway on top and the caged area within so now the engineer can obviously walk through and not have any chance of falling off. Just trying to focus on that, doesn't want to focus. All right. I've added the cat ladder at the side as well, so we're nearly there. The only thing I need to do now is I need to raise the height of the entire gantry a bit, as these ones by NCNIC, uh, I don't think they're designed for signal gantries, so they're not quite high enough, as I did test on the track and the train actually runs into the signal. So I'll be raising them up on some box section, and then I'll also be putting them on sort of concrete platforms which I'll be using some thick plastic card for. So I will do that, I'll get the whole gantry installed and then I will show you what it looks like as it's finished. And there is the finished gantry. 
I have done all the wiring, I have added some box section under the supports to add a bit of height to allow clearance for the trains and I have now stuck it down to the baseboard. I've added a 1 kilo ohm resistor on the negative for each one which is recommended by Gauge Master and it's all working fine. I'm controlling the gantry using some toggle on on switches and it works fine so I'm happy with that. I'll probably add some weathering to it at some point and then these little bits around here would all be covered in balance so you won't see where the um, supports actually meet the baseboard. That's all from me today. Hope you've found this video useful if you think of constructing your own gantry and I shall see you next time. Thank you.